Hi everyone, it's Pete here. I just thought I would share this method of waterproofing your RC electrics that I've uh, just discovered. Um, it's very similar to a method that uh, Matteo did a video about where he was uh, covering the circuit board with uh, Araldite. Uh, I've used the glue from a glue gun instead and uh, it's good because it's sort of uh, cheaper um, and it's sort of easy to apply because you've got the gun. So uh, anyway, these components have been in here for a little while now. Switch them on, make sure they're still working. So yeah, that all seems to be working okay. So I've got another uh, receiver that's one of waterproof. So I'll just show you what I've done. Okay, so I tend to use these FlySky receivers. Uh, they're also branded as e-tronic sometimes. Uh, so first of all, just need to get the screws out the back and get it apart. Okay, so let's get it open. Now the circuit board is sort of stuck slightly to the top of this, so you've got to be careful how you uh, prise this open. There you go. So a little uh, circuit board there. Okay, so the plan is to put a layer of the glue gun glue over the bottom of the circuit board there. Stick that into the bottom of the case while the glue is still wet. Then uh, do the top of the circuit board, just being careful not to get it into the plugs. And also there's a little button on this one, so we need to make sure that can still work. I think the first one I did, I got a bit of glue over the switch, but you could still, you could still poke it, so that was all right. So yeah, let's just get on with that then. circuit board That's it. the top on while it's still wet okay so let's put the screws back in get a little bit of glue on the button while I was doing that so I was checking that I can still push that okay maybe we near that but the button is still clicking so that sounds all right so yeah let's just give it a little test Right, there's me thinking it's failed miserably and what I've just realised is that the brand new one I haven't bound it to the radio so I'll just bind it and uh, test it again. Right, let's try again. Hooray! <laughs> right, so as you can see it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Uh, these things are pretty cheap. This one, I can't remember, it's about six quid. Uh, this is Decton uh, eBay. The sticks are very cheap. Um, these are from the pound shop, but they were actually two pound because it says two on the back. But um, yeah, so two quid for 32 sticks. So it's cheaper than Araldite's. And also uh, I've used this where sometimes I might have used Abro steel or other products. So I'll just show you a couple of other uses of the glue. Okay, so this is the uh, front wheel of a Tamiya lunchbox. Now these have got a bit of a problem with uh, the center part of the wheel breaking out because uh, it's not really attached by much. And so I've used the glue gun glue in the middle there to sort of uh, support that. And in the past, like I say, I've used uh, Abro steel, but um, that stuff's quite expensive. And I think this should be good. I mean, this isn't yet tested, but it's very solid sort of glue, but it's got a little bit of flex to it. So hopefully, because the Abro steel can sort of break away eventually, but um, yeah, I think that should be uh, should be good. All right, so this is my uh, dual ridge buggy. Now, what I find with buggies is that the legs and tail fins are a bit of a weak spot, and so when that's landed uh, upside down several times, they get battered and they crack and they eventually drop off. Now, um, what I've done is I've completely filled the underside of the tail fin before I put it on, and so I've actually drilled through the layer of glue to attach this. Um, and 
you end up with a much more sturdy thing. So uh, the previous TTO2 I had had that same method. Uh, obviously that died in a different way in the fire. But um, yeah, that should uh, strengthen that up nicely. Okay, so I did open this server up as well and uh, put some glue gun glue on the circuit board, but um, I haven't tested this. I didn't take the circuit board out and do both sides. So I'm a bit more dubious about actually submerging this. So uh, I'll just see how this goes out in the field. I've seen people do things with sort of liquid silicon stuff, uh, which might work out better. Um, I tend to just buy servos that are waterproof anyway, but I've got these ones, which I think aren't because they were quite cheap. Okay, it's worth saying that uh, obviously if you do this, you're going to void any warranty that you might have had. So if you send it back to the shop all full of glue gun glue, they're not going to uh, give you a refund. Um, so this one, uh, it was a bit more of a faff. I don't know if you can see it's not gone together quite so well. Uh, the case fits very tightly around the circuit board in places, so I've had to cut away part of the case. Uh, so yeah, it's not quite such a neat job. If you are doing one of these, there's a little post between the button there and the circuit board which actually pokes the button on the circuit board and I nearly missed that and left it out which uh, would have meant it didn't work um, but yeah apart from that I mean say it's a very cheap and uh, easy method so like I say these are very cheap on eBay and there's loads of uses for these if you look on YouTube uh, it's hot glue gun hacks and all that uh, but that's all from me for the moment so thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time <music>